Hey guys what's welcome back to another video Wilder Frost 10.1 version 1 update is here and today I am going to share its complete setup and important settings of GT5. In this new update you will get to see Wilter Frost's new theme and some bonus features. So the video is going to be very interesting guys watch the video from start to end and if you are new to the channel then subscribe for such amazing videos. So without wasting any more time let's start the amazing video. Alright guys as you can see this is the official gate page of Wilter Frost 10.1 version 1. So I have already installed it. First of all you have to open it and here you have to allow permissions. Now here it will initialize the data, it is going to take some time here, so wait patiently. Alright guys it has been initialized here. Now you have to slide and go to the settings option and here first of all you have to set the cursor speed to full. After that scroll down here. Here you get to see box 64 version 0.3.6. You have to set the box 64 preset to performance mode. Then right click here. After that you have to create a container here. For that. Click on the plus icon. First of all, brother, you have to set the resolution here. If you have less RAM, then I suggest you 800 asterisk 600 resolution. But if the RAM is good, then brother you can also do 720. Then here you will find all three graphics drivers, VK Turnip and Vil. So I am going to select VK here, which is also supported in Mali Jeep devices and people with non-adreno devices where the Turnip driver is not suitable can also use it like mine is at alt. After that guys here you have to go to environment variables. If you want to remove DXVK hood then you can remove it from here which shows FPS. I will keep it as it is. For now we will go to advanced. Here you have to set the preset on perfection mode. As always startup selection will be made aggressive and brother will select Windows 10. That's it brother. Right click on it. Your container will be created here. Now you can play it by clicking on the play button here. But I will turn off the internet first. After that brother will start it for the first time. It takes some time in the first time. You have to wait patiently. After that it will start. You can see this time here the wallpaper has also been changed a bit along with the theme. We'll get to see the logo of will later frost here. So what will we do now? We will create a shortcut of GTA 5 here. But we will also create a shortcut of GTA 4. We are going to test that also this time and I will also show you by adding the saved game. So here the guys D folder is the download folder of your phone and inside this folder you have to create any one folder inside which all your games should be there. Like I have created a folder named one my games. Inside this, for example, there is a game folder of GTA 5. And what I will do here is that I will right click on GTA 5 la X and create shortcut. And in this way you have to create your game shortcuts. So now I will exit my will ladder here and from here I will come to the shortcuts section and whatever shortcut games I have, they will be shown here. Something like this. Now I am going to test GTA 5 in front of you. Before that, we will go to the settings. See, here also you can do some settings. Now I will go here in advanced settings. Here in profile, you have to select the virtual gamepad. As always, here you also get the option of full screen. But this does not make the game full screen. I will tell you about that too how to make it full screen. This is also a very important thing, because many times people get very irritated with the small screen in the first time. I will also tell you the solution for that. Alright guys, you can see brother your game has started here and here only FPS 30 is visible. So what to do now, you have to go to the menu of GTA 5 by pressing this button and from here we will go to the option of settings. Now you will not be able to see this from the FPS counter but we are going to the option of settings. Okay? Here we will press A after that scroll down and go inside graphics. As soon as you come inside graphics, then press A again. After that you will come to the option here. From here you have to go to screen type. So here you have to click on this arrow i.e. the right arrow and here you have to go to the full screen option. When you come on this, then come down. Below there will be resolution brother. The resolution should be the one you have selected in the filter. Right now I have also kept 720p in the filter, but the settings of this game are 800 asterisk 600. Now I will right click on this also and bring it to 720. What do you have to do after that? You have to press X I will press X to apply. After that it says, keep new settings. So I said A if I press A, it will be yes. Okay? So I will press A, then you can see, it has been set to full screen. Now press B and come back. So in this way you can come to full screen brother. And now the edges that you are seeing on the side here, you can also remove it brother. You can see by porting to world full screen brother. Overall our game has become full screen. So I have almost explained all the settings to you. If I talk about GT5's FPS, then we can see fluctuations here. Unfortunately, you can see that it is going below 30. In fact, in our other later versions, it goes to 60 as well. But the settings that I have told you today, will work in all later versions. 
Okay, but here you can see that I have set my graphics settings to high. I think, you can see that the graphics are looking quite strong because the graphics settings are set to high here. I will show you, so you can check this also from here. If you go to the graphics option, then you can also set the settings from here. If your graphics settings are high, then reduce it. This will improve your FPS. Now see textures set to very high. But overall, a lot of fluctuations are being seen in FPS here in GTA 5, which is not seen in the free version of the game. But here you can see that the FPS is jumping directly from 30 to 24, which is not good at all. Fluctuations make the gaming experience very bad. Now that we have tested GT5, let's test GT4 as well. Here I will run GT4 through the shortcut and let's see if we are getting graphical glitches here or not. Alright guys, our GT4 has started here and here we are seeing FPS around 60, but now you can see that fluctuations are quite heavy here as well. From 60 directly here is 17, oh brother, there is a very strong fluctuation, but the good thing here is that we are not getting graphical glitches. So let's test the game and see how we get FPS while driving the car. So guys, I am able to feel it here. A lot of smoothness is being seen in the graphics, meaning there is no lag in the gameplay. But yes, I can see it in the FPS meter here. There are a lot of jumps. FPS is going down directly and coming directly to 60. So this is not good. We are seeing fluctuations here. But overall you can run the games and brother, there are no graphical glitches which we used to see in Errolert earlier. So the Valayer has improved a lot compared to before. But now see, you are seeing fluctuations here. So you can see friend, this is how Valayer Frost is working here. I hope guys you liked today's video. If you liked the video, please like it and brother, subscribe to the channel for such great videos. I will meet you in the next video. Till then, bye, Sarah.